shooting is more than a pastime for these shooters in Northern Ireland. For some, it's a mainstay in their lives. But some members of the Dunnybow Target Club are struggling because of the crisis in firearms licensing. Paul Jennings is one of around 3,000 people waiting for a certificate. He took a break from shooting as he was in a wheelchair waiting for a lung transplant. After his operation, he's returned to the sport he loves. But he's been waiting almost six months for his certificate. Very important to me because uh, prior November, I was in a wheelchair for nearly four years. I uh, couldn't really walk or do anything. And I had an operation removing half of my left lung. So now I'm able to get it a small bit. So to get back out shooting again and doing things that I love doing, it's great. For some of the members here at the Dunny Bow Target Club, shooting isn't just a hobby. It's an absolute lifeline when other things in their life, like bad health, are causing them issues. Well, up until a few years ago, we, we both Paul and Michelle, would have been out the fields shooting vermin and things like that there. Now the condition that we're in, we can't do that. So this is, this is the club to be in, for, as far as we're concerned, because you've got good freedom, great people, like myself and Paul, that uh, we, we come up here most nights, and as you can see, it's quiet at night, you know. Most boys haven't got their licenses through. Soul destroying. It's very irritating at times, you no, know, and you can't phone up anybody, they ask, you no, know, what, is there any hold up or anything, because they won't answer you no more. You know, it's all computerized, so you just have to sit back and you can't do nothing about it. Police in Northern Ireland announced a critical incident with firearms licensing more than a year ago. That means for shops like this, people can buy guns, but they can't collect them because they're waiting up to 14 months for a license. For Tommy Beattie, the delays are crippling his business. The delay in the situation is very frustrating to customers and ourselves. Uh, we carry a big, big stock of guns, lots of money tied up and we'd like to get them in and out through the door as quick as possible to get our money back. It is extremely frustrating for all firearms holders. It's all right if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one off, um, which can be done over the counter, but anything that requires something going through to firearms branch, you, you just, in Pandora's box, you just don't know when it's gonna come, what queries they're gonna come back with, or uh, if it's gonna to go to senior licensing. And if it goes to senior licensing, we've had cases of over 14 months and even more complex cases that we dealt with that we had to take to other bodies outside the, the, the PSNI that took three years. Some gun shops are struggling because of the restrictions of the ministerial code. That means they can only store a limited amount of rifles and handguns. Yeah, I'm small and I'm sitting on my limit and I can't get the members more guns or another gun if they want to change because I can't bring it in. Because I'd still be sitting, my stock doesn't go down with a one on, one off. And you've got to try and sell a second hand gun then before you can bring in a new gun. And it's just not. It's not a nice way to do trade. You can't do trade like that. The PSNI receives more than 17,000 firearms applications each year. It says it has developed a plan which will see an increase in the resources within the branch and has invested in a new IT system. It says it's committed to continuing to upgrade the system to improve efficiency in handling applications. We fear that there are still more difficult cases to come and again with the police service of Northern Ireland uh, having critical cuts to their budgets uh, where they say that the, the service won't be delivered as quickly and it will be a totally unrecognisable service um, that they will take the civil servants that are doing the firearms licensing to fill other operational gaps which will only make businesses such as Tommy's here um, suffer. Tommy started this shop more than 40 years ago. He's grown it to the success it is today, but he's increasingly facing challenges with firearms licensing delays and also the difficulty of getting ammunition across the Irish Sea. At the moment, it's a nightmare to get across that Irish Sea. It is a nightmare. We put our order in. As soon as we got a load in, we put our order in. It used to be you could have had it, uh, your cottages within a week. Now it's taken maybe up to three months. 
and the price of a load of stuff to come in now, it used to be you got a load in for around a thousand pounds plus the VAT, now it's costing in around three and a half thousand pounds plus VAT. They would need to get something done about it and get this IC sorted out because it's going to close a lot of businesses, small and large businesses. People like Tommy say so that government is treating shooters and gun shops poorly. You have some people in government is for shooting and a lot of people is anti-shooting. We've been treated very, very bad. He's lost his passion for his business, which is something we want to do. We, you know, we want uh, businesses to thrive in local communities and we want uh, the, the shooting community to be able to continue. I think, well, it'll be a matter for the police to, to sort out firearms licensing and they need to give the resources to get it back on the even keel. For shooters like Paul, the improvements can't come quickly enough. Until he gets his certificate, he will continue to rely on his friends to continue the sport he loves.